Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a very basic um, hello world using docker and a docker file. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to docker hub and I'm going to be building this using the standard um, nginx uh, image. So I'm going to use the latest version and then what I'm going to do is copy some source folders with a hello world document in it. So I'm going to flick over to Ubuntu here and I'm going to pull up terminal and I am going to just jump into my YouTube folder. And the first thing we want to do is just create a docker file. So it's got no extension with a capital D and we want to make a directory called source and we're also going to make a, a file within source called index.html. So the first thing I'm going to do is just generate some basic HTML in here. Um, I've already got some pasted, it's just standard HTML just to say hello world to document it. And I'm going to come out and save that. Now the next thing we're going to do is open up our Docker file. So within the Docker file, first of all we need to um, choose a base image. Now the Nginx one's really good, so we're going to use that and we're going to pull the latest version. And then the second thing we need to do is we need to pull the source folder and we need to put it into the default location for Nginx. So that's user share nginx html and control and save that. Now we've actually got it and we're in the directory with our docker file. So you need to be in the directory where your docker file is. You need to run docker build um, dash t and then you can call it a name. So we're going to call this um, hello world and then a dot because you're in the directory at the moment and hit enter and it's going to go to pull the latest image from um, docker hub. Uh, the nginx one and um, then it's going to run the other stuff which we've done which is basically just copy the um, source folder and chuck it in the html folder so that nginx looks at it. So now we actually sort of built our image but it's not running so we need to now run it so we do docker run and we can do dash p because we have to view the ports the nginx image by default exposes port 80 so now we just need to say that we want our local host to have 80 so you do 8080 and then we're going to just type the name of the image which was hello world now I haven't detached this so it's going, it's only going to be running and I'm going to be attached to the log output instead of it running in the background um, but that's okay for now so if I go ahead and hit enter and we should see that running so what I'm going to do is just pull up a new um, terminal window and I'm going to curl localhost and you can see hello world Matt was here and you can also see now that on my docker run I've got a request from localhost. I hope that's very useful for you. So um, a quick introduction to docker files and docker. Uh, any questions in the comments and if you want more please like and subscribe. Thank you.